Good evening everyone, it is Rachel and I'm here to review the All True Spring Box. It arrived in the mail a couple days ago and I thought I would unbox it and show you guys what I picked out. So let's open it up. On top we have the little magazine to explain all of the different products that they are offering. Oh look, and they got kind of some different recipes it looks like. Some highlights of different businesses. Honestly, I've never looked through any of these, but this one seems like it could be very interesting spotlighting different products. So there's a nice magazine and yeah, so let's look into all the products that I got. Ah, so I like the, how they have packaged everything. I have opened this. I have not deep dive into anything quite yet. There we go. <laughs> so let's see what I got. So in category one, I got this crinkle cotton throw blanket. I'm actually very excited to get this. It seems pretty, pretty thin, but thick. Let's see. Yeah. But I'm really happy to get it because last spring I wanted to get this, but of course, you know, they had their whole like debunkle thing. So I never got it. Um, I actually was one of those fortunate people that was able to get a refund, which I was very grateful for, for all of the things that they owed me. I know there's a big controversy and criticism about that, but I'm not going to go into that because I'm just here to show you guys what I got from the spring box. So first thing I got was this little crinkle cotton throw blanket, which I'm very, very happy with. It feels very nice. I love the color. It is beautiful. Choice two, I got these flexi um, bins. It's called flex bin petite so let's open these up and i'll show you what they look like open so overall i find them very nice um i think they have a little folding and bending to do but i think over time they will bend to the desired shape that you want them they are very interesting fabric it's almost like oh what is the word i don't want to say suede but flannel like very, very, very thick flannel, very thick. But overall, I really, really like them. So I am very happy with this choice. So category three, I ended up getting this tray. It's like a trinket tray. I saw it when they first posted it and I thought it was beautiful. I'm not sure if any of these are actually um, throwbacks or just leftover stock, but I am not complaining. It is very, very nicely done. This glaze is nice. The gold is very reflective. And overall, it's a very nice tray. It almost feels kind of like the very bottom almost has like a, a fabric-y feel to it. And yeah, I'm very happy with this little trinket tray. I think it's beautiful. So, Choice number four, I chose the silicone bags. And overall, I think I'm missing one because I'm looking over here at the picture. Here are some of the other choices. It's showing two bags and I only got one. So I'm going to contact customer service to see if they're able to replace that bag that is missing because yeah, I think it even says on here that storage bags. So yeah, I think it may have just fell out. I have no idea, but I really like silicone bags. They work great for like everyday use. I'm really trying hard to get away from single use plastic bags for sure. So yeah, this was an obvious choice for me. So I like this very much. So for choice number four, I decided to get the Sandbar Nomad, um, what is it, palette? This was also an item I wanted to get back in 2000. Ah, let's see if I can open this. Okay, after a major struggle, I was able to finally get it undone out of that plastic. So yeah, um, I wanted this um, last spring also. So I was very happy when this um, choice popped up. I think the colors are very, very pretty. There's a little protection on them. So yeah, those are the colors. I am very interested to see how they are going to work. Let's see. Let's test one. Wow, it's very reflective. So as you can see <laughs> in my mirror. Anyways, yeah, I'm very, very happy with this also. So I'm excited to use this this summer. So yeah. 
So for category six, I decided to get this Calm Kit. I actually got the same Calm Kit in a mystery bundle recently. I think been one of the mystery bundles for, well, I want to say winter. And when I saw this as an option, I wanted to get it because I love sprays. I love to spray um, mists before I go to sleep or just any other type of aromatherapy type um, sprays. Yeah, so I was very happy with this last choice of category number six. So overall, I would say this box is really good. Um, let me go over all the choices just real fast and show you what you could be getting in each of the different categories. So let's flip through. I'm just going to do a quick scan. Of course, they have that cup. I got that cup in a mystery bundle. Dishcloths. I'm pretty sure they've offered that many times. I've had this in a mystery bundle before. And I don't know what that is. I think it's a serum. What kind of serum is this? Rejuvenating Night. I think it's a vitamin C and E serum. So that's category one. And then you came over here to category two. I got this. I've had this before in the past. I think I ordered that in one of my add-ons. And I know they've had those in the past. Also those little celestial rings. Or rings? Yeah, I think they're different rings. Yep. So let's turn the page. I've seen that as an option in the past. That as an option. I'm pretty sure this is new. I've never seen this before as an option. Um, so yeah, I chose option number two for number five choice. And then you could have got the face brush, the socks I've gotten before. And I've had these before. I've actually really enjoyed, enjoyed those little cotton swabs. I use them quite often, but I just didn't need more. And this bath aroma, which I was totally shocked by how much it cost. $68 for that bath aroma. So if you're looking for the best value, that's probably going to be your choice. And, oh wait, no, that's the calm kit. Oh my goodness. Facial steamer, 22. I think I chose that because of that value. So yeah, so the facial steamer, it's not too bad. Yeah, so that's category six. Did I show category number one? I feel like I did not. Yeah, okay. So I got these. These are going to come in the mail. I was also tempted to get this um, bag. I, I really liked it. I didn't need another water bottle or diffuser, tea diffuser. And I got the blanket. So in category two, yeah, I got those in... That color, if that makes sense, and that. I just didn't need those, so yeah, there you go. So besides missing one of the green silicone bags, I think overall this was very much a win box for me. I am very happy and excited to use all these products, so I give this box a thumbs up for All True Spring Box. So let me know if you guys are going to be getting this box and what you're most excited about, or if you're just skipping All True altogether. I don't know. You guys, it's just one of those things where I, I just have to stick with this box because I've seen it from the very beginning and I don't know, I just, I've always enjoyed these products. So yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys are all doing great and yeah, bye.